Alright guys, Kazoo71 here on Ark Survival Ascended. This is about the 28th still. Uh, three days after it was released on the 25th. And as I showed you guys last time, I started to build this little base type area. Probably a temporary base. I don't know. I'm probably going to move. Uh, actually, I know I'm going to move. I'm not going to lie. I know I'm moving. This recorded weeks ago. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm trying to get these uh, pieces snapped like I want. And this is some of the dynamic I was showing you guys. If you watch the other video, there's a new build dynamic where you can snap these wall pieces up and down according to these foundations. Now, at this point in the game, I did not figure that out. I do sh I'm going to show you guys what I did, though. I made it work. Um, I could have, if I would have hit the E button a little bit more, I would have gotten the right spot. And I would have been able to snap it to the foundation and not the ceiling. Or I could have taken the ceiling out and snapped it. It's just weird. You could take the ceiling out, snap it to the foundation. You could snap the walls together. So if I had a wall lower, I could have snapped two walls together and then snapped the foundation under it. It's just really, really weird and strange how these things work. They're really cool, though. They do do really well. So um, I'll show you guys as we get going. I need some wood and stuff. So let's get a little bit more supplies. A lot of bad things right here where I'm at. Truidons. Uh, Dillos. Raptors. Alpha Raptors. Uh, I've seen a Carno, I've seen an Alpha Carno, and lots of Therizinosaurus. So, um, not a very safe area to be building in, but it's okay. I got a Rex over here in the RG. Should be good. I'm just collecting some more wood here. I got some stone. I got my Anklo last time I grabbed. I grabbed my Dodicarus. So, we're good to go. We're just going to work on some stuff here. Get some things building. Hello, trike right in the way. Annoying thing. Things are always in the way. Alright, so I just want to show you guys some of these pieces. As you can see, this is going to go lower. It won't let me keep st staying up high. But that's okay. If I put a ceiling up there, I could have snapped it down. But I just didn't know at the time. Well, I just got a baby track with them. Um, but we'll figure it out. As I show, I want to leave this whole part in there and show you guys. It's going to be a shorter episode, but I will show you guys some of these things I'm doing. Trying to figure this out because um, this is me figuring out in real time as I was playing the game. I don't watch anybody else play. I just do my own stuff and figure it out as we go. And um, kind of how I like to do it. It's fun that way. But for those of you guys who don't have the game yet and you want to watch somebody else do it, I appreciate you guys joining in and watching my craziness of trying to figure this thing out. And like I mentioned, this game has been out a month now. Today is the 28th of November. So I recorded this 30 days ago. Um and the actual video part i'm recording the vocals now i'm just trying to figure out how to snap this stuff but I, i've gotten way better at this now and um i'm going to skip quite a few videos as we go because i'm not going to show you guys a bunch of the build things i will show you guys some of the wall when i'm trying to do a circle um and when i show you guys some of these other parts that are really important and i'll put those in there but we'll just kind of skip around and do some other stuff in these next episodes instead of just me building but i wanted to show you guys this part as you can see i'm trying to figure out how to snap that thing I'm using the R button. Now the R gives me different ideas that you are different things you can snap from the wall. But I was not hitting the E button. Um, e button will give you different positions, different snap points, um, and then the Q will as well. So, well, E Q is different snap points. Excuse me. Q is a different snap points. E is backwards or forward. So they they have them very specific in this game. Q, you cycle through the, the snaps. E, you go back and forth. So just jumping forward a little bit here. I cut out a little bit of video. Um, I was live streaming this, actually, and some people were chatting at me. So I, I got off the chat back at him for a minute because I was having trouble with my overlay. So just cut that part out. I was just standing in one spot. So got these uh, ceilings I make. We're going to snap a ceiling in there now. And now we're going to go under it with this, this wall. And we're going to go down, as you can see. And it lines it out. Now, the cool thing about these is these ceilings snap exactly even with the foundations. Look at that. Unlike the old Ark Survival Evolved, you would always have that little lift on the, the ceilings when you snapped them on even with the foundation. There would always be that little lift. You could never get rid of that thing. You could try to play around with it, but it wasn't snapped directly to it. So if you snap directly to it, it would never do it even. I don't even think you could ever get it even, even using pillars and building another way. So... I've done it so many different ways in Ark Survival Evolved, but it's never going to be perfectly even. So I'm going to put that foundation under there too, so I have it in there. Just went forward a little bit more. I was chatting a little more. And I did not decide to hit that on purpose. That was a total accident. <laughs> I could have claimed I did that. I did that on purpose. I want to see what would happen. No, it was an accident. I was holding a hatchet and I was 
trying to get back in the game from chatting at somebody and then I hit that thing so I damaged it there we go no big deal not a huge deal EO but we have a bunch of um bunch of trees and stuff right here as you can see I'm in these weeds and these weeds kind of grow up pretty high like I was telling you guys last episode you could lose some dodos in there for sure but dillos too and but we're gonna be good here we're just gonna snap some more pieces just a few more on here I want to see how it looks then we're gonna put a, a couple of wall pieces down and I'll show you guys on the top I actually skipped the door part in this one um, just jump forward a little bit so um, but the door is the same thing you're holding the, the wall piece you just cycle through the pieces with R and it tells you what you can do. So I did one of the doors on it. But we're going to snap this ceiling here. I was trying to snap that uh, this wall here that you can see right there. If I would have hit the Q button, I probably would have got it in the right spot. But I'm hitting the E button instead. It's flipping back and forth, not the Q. You need to hit the Q button. All right. Now, I don't know what it is on PlayStation because it ain't out on PlayStation yet. Or what it is on Xbox X or S yet. But, uh... You guys probably know how those snap pieces work. There's one button will snap the cy cycle the snap points. One will flip back and forth. So just making another piece here, another wall. I'm going to try to get this one down. And as you can see, I'm not hitting the cue. If I hit the cue, that thing would have snapped exactly where I wanted it to snap. But I was making a mistake and I wasn't doing it. So um, we're going to go ahead and pick this. What I'm going to do is pick the foundation up. And I'm going to slap that wall down where it goes. And then we're going to put the foundation inside of it. I need that foundation there so I can build up higher. I want them all in the right spot. So we're going to snap the wall down. Oops, that went in the wrong spot. And then we're going to try to get this uh, foundation underneath it and see if I can do that. Let's see what happens here. There's the wall where it goes. Now let's grab that foundation. Let's see if I can snap it inside of it. Sure enough, I snapped it right in the middle. So that wall, if I took that wall off, you would see that that foundation is down there in the right spot. Okay, so this is going forward a little bit. I was playing with the ramps now. The stone roof, or the sloped roof, the ramp, the stairs, and um, the ramp. There's there's four. They all have them. So here's the, that's the roof. There's the ramp. There's the stairs. Come on. Come on, stairs. And the stairway. So you have four different things in here. Roof, ramp, stairs stairway which is like a, a spiral stairway so all from the one piece so you just you cycle through them with R which one you want and I just want the regular stairs so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna pick up this sloped roof over here because we don't want that I love the way the pieces look they're pretty cool looking as far as the the stone how um, the graphics look on them this is the kind of stuff I like to build with it looks pretty neat so we're gonna grab some more stuff here. I'm gonna dump a little bit out of my hands and then we're going to grab a few more things. I'm going to get some more wood. We're going to put a few walls down. And that's going to be it. Um, I have some more ceilings in there. But like I said, just cleaning out the inventory. I was kind of moving stuff around. I cut a little bit of this video out. And I'm going to bore you guys to death with the... Let me harvest some stone. I was flying around with the RG. Hovering with the dodecarus over the stone. It was harvesting stone. You should all know how to do that. If you don't, get you an Argentavis. Grab a dodecarus. Fly around. Use the X button on PC to hover and or stop in place and then you'll swing at the stones and you'll harvest the stone that way you don't ever have to get down off the dodickers you can do the same with the anklo now too because they they fixed that and in one of the patches about two years ago they put it where the ankles are auto harvest now they had taken that away for a while and why they did that i don't know and killed this chilobite i used to say triblobite and people got all mad at me you're saying it wrong oh my gosh you said it wrong the world's gonna end anyway it's Trillabite. Who cares? Trillabite, Trublabite, Trublunky, Booky, Booky, Booky. I don't care what you call it. Whatever you want to call it. You ain't got to be perfect. Ain't nobody out there perfect. No one says anything perfect. Everybody thinks they do. They're full of crapola. Anyway, let's get some. I'm just getting some thatch and some wood here. Let's make sure I got enough here. We're going to go up here and make a couple more pieces. I'm going to snap a few more walls down. And then I want to show you guys one more thing. Last episode, I mentioned a cryopod that well, I was trying out one of the cryopod mods. You're supposed to be able to harvest them in the drops and in the obelisk. So I've tried to drop already. I tried that. I think the last episode I did that so you guys can see it. We're going to go try the green obelisk. It's I'm pretty close. Throw this bed down on a couple of walls first. In case I die again because this thing is glitching left and right, man. I got to, um, yeah, it crashes all the time. So it's really strange. There's a, a guy put out a video to fix some of the crashes. Um, he was having crashes with the, the foliage and with the transitions. 
I was only having crashes with the transition. So you open an inventory, you open an item inventory, the transition video between opening and closing is what was crashing my game. So once I found his video, and thankfully I left him a good like and comment, that, that helped out a lot. My game stopped crashing so much, but at this point, crashing constantly. So jumping forward a little bit here, you can see it's dark, almost to the green obelisk. I just want to test this cryopod thing out again. I want to see what it looks like. Show you guys what the uh, the obelisk looks like while we're over here as well. Not a big deal. Just kind of flying around looking too as we're coming. Um, it's pretty clear. You know, you guys have to know how the island is if you played the island before. It kind of looks the same way. The it's pretty though. Uh, when you get the epic settings going or the high settings, you get a lot of fog and mist and stuff. It looks pretty neat too. But here we are, the green obelisk. Let's see if this cryopod is craftable. It's supposed to be. And nope, nothing in there but the three brood mothers. That mod didn't work. So there you go, guys. There's a couple of uh, builds, a little bit I was doing on this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Any comments are appreciated, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.